As we get closer to the election, I felt a burden to call our church to pray. I think this is a season where many of us are really feeling uncertain about where our country is going. We feel very uncertain about the election. We have a lot of anxiety. And I think it's an important piece for us to be the kind of people who always go to the Lord first when we feel these ways. And so I'm calling our church to take time to pray specifically for our country, that God would bring revival, that God would begin to transform the hearts of men and women to fall in love with Jesus, and for this election, that this election would be one that honors God and that our people, as they pray and vote and, and engage, that this would be something where we are salt and light, light where we show the power of Jesus and the truth of God's word and salt that we would preserve what God wants to do in this country. And we preserve the kind of culture that allows people to truly flourish as men and women made in God's image. So um, on November 4th, I'm inviting our church to join me right here in downtown Spartanburg in our sanctuary for an hour of prayer. And I'm gonna be fasting for 24 hours from that prayer night all the way through uh, Tuesday night through the election. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm just saying, God, I'm just putting our country, our church and our people in front of you. And I'm asking you to lead us with wisdom and for your favor and mercy to be upon us as a people. So if you're interested in doing that, please join me on November 4th at 6 p.m. here at our church in Spartanburg. Uh, we're also gonna be praying at our sanctuary of prayer on Tuesday, election day at 12 from 12 to to one. And so if you want to be a good part of either one of those prayer times, we would love to have you join us and pray for God to move in our country, to change our people's hearts, and to, to have uh, the election go the way that God wants it to go. So with all of that said, thank you for being a part of our church and our community. We love you. I love you. And I believe the best is yet to come.